What's up guys, welcome to Atlas and welcome to my channel. I'm Moshman and in this video I'm going to show you my tips for surviving the start of Atlas. Before I do though guys, if you enjoy survival gaming content like Atlas obviously and Ark Survival Evolved, then look no further. I upload videos twice a week on Ark at the moment, but Atlas will be coming back to my channel very very soon. So if that interests you, go and slap that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss my uploads, weekly uploads, two a week, don't forget. But back to the matter in hand, if you're looking at this video, you're probably looking for some tips for starting out on Atlas, it's just been released on console this week. So I thought I'd give you my tips. The first thing you want to do, of course, once you've spawned in, is try and spawn in a free port if you've got the option. And then you want to start immediately gathering resources. Definitely want to be gathering wood, just punch a tree. And obviously while you're punching that and getting wood, you'll get some thatch. And you're also going to want some fibre. The fibre is just these little bushes, just like on Ark if you've played Ark. And also, you want to run around and try and pick up the little stones, just a few. Once you've done that, you want to get a skill, and you get them once you've leveled up and put your attributes in your stats. And the first one you want to get is the basics, and you also want to grab the spear if you can already, which is tools of the trade. Once you've done that, you want to craft yourself a stone pick. You can either go into the melee weapons in the crafting, or you can just use the search bar and type in pickaxe. Or pick or whatever then drag it in your action bar once you've got it and wait for it to equip it takes a few seconds and you now want to find a rock like this one and slap it and it gives you some flint stone and metal but you want the flint just now then go back to your craft area in your inventory and you want to get a hatchet pow pow drag that into your action bar and wait for that to load in a good little tip while you're in this starting area, or when you've spawned in anywhere in the game, while you're waiting for things or doing stuff, just keep picking stuff up, especially like fibre and berries and things like that. It's really helpful. Once you've got your hatchet equipped, you can now gather wood properly. If you just want thatch, you can swap back to your pick, and a pick gives you more thatch from a tree, and obviously the hatchet gives you more wood. Once you've done that and you've got your pick and your axe, you're going to want to get a spear. Again, go in your event tree, type in spear or search for it in the uh, melee weapons. Once you've got it, put it in your action bar. I like to craft three at the start, just in case, because they do break. Pow, now you've got a spear. You can now begin to merc stuff with your spear. You can come and attack the pigs, uh, but they're a lot harder than they look, and you're probably asking for a bit of a whooping. So what you want to do is find something like a cat, which are new to the game since I last played it. And you want to kill the puddy cat. And you want to gather the pelt off it. If you use a hatchet, it gives you more pelt. Another thing is good if you can find them is the chickens, which there is one around here, I can hear it, but can't quite see it. And another animal that's normally around here, especially near the beach, is a turtle, which again are quite easy to kill. But you want to avoid the pigs if you can, to be honest, at the start. Once you've gathered enough resources, you want to head down to this guy and you want to see about getting a ship. He offers you a dinghy, a raft and a ramshackle sloop. Now I recommend you save up, even if it takes a bit longer on like an official server, and get yourself a sloop. They're 225 fibre, 75 hide, 250 wood, and they're worth every single piece of resources. Pow! Once you've got your sleep, you're going to need to kit it out, so you're going to need to get some more skills. You're going to want to get the construction tab, which unlocks this construction tab at the top here. And you want to get basics of building, and you want to get handyman. Handyman gives you a repair hammer, storage box, paintbrush, and spray painter. You just want the storage box for now, to be honest, and the repair hammer, obviously, will be nice. And then you want the basics of building, which just gives you your first lot of building stuff for later on. As well as food, you're obviously going to want water as well. And if you head to the big head that's normally on the Freeport Island, there is a lake underneath it. You can just run in and press E and you can drink from it. But what you really want to do is get Waterkeeper. So you can get a water skin and then just put it in your action bar. Just stand in the water and press the button for the water skin. And there you've got a water supply. You also want to get as many of them as you can really, just a few, two or three should be alright for a little while. Once you've gathered all your resources and you've got some water and you've got some food, you should have got some meat off of the things you've killed for the hide, you want to cook that up. You also want to run around and pick up any berries, like these little things here, green and red leaved things are berries. Uh, different berries have a different bush. <laughs> uh, I'll see if I can find another one. Uh, 
these ones here, the little apple trees, are basically an apple tree. They'll give you these little apple type things. But you want to pick them up while you're running around. Different islands, depending on what temperate zone they're in, will yield different produce. So they don't all have the same berries and stuff. Once you've got your resources and you've spawned your boat in, obviously you want to get on it. Once you're in your boat, pow, which by the way, once you've bought it, it spawns with the mast, the steering wheel, all the deck, everything on it. Uh, apart from this little hole, you can either fill that in with a ceiling piece or a floor piece, or you can put a ladder in on, on the side if you want. Um, if you do fall down it, don't panic, you can get out, just click on the steering wheel and it'll pull you out. But what you want to do now is obviously kit it out. You want to get a storage box made and you want to get a bed. And you want to plonk them down. Just stick them down wherever you fancy. I'm just going to put them here for now. Boom. And if you haven't already cooked up your meat, you can do it now, don't worry. Get your fire out. And you can stick a fire on a boat. Not a great idea in the grand scheme of things in real life. But on Atlas, apparently, this is perfectly fine to ignite a fire on a wooden ship. Get that cooking, and now you've got some meat cooking while you're sailing around. Hopefully you've picked up some berries and some water like we did earlier, and that is you ready to set the sail, basically. So, in a recap, what you want to do is obviously spawn in in a free port, if you can, if you've got the choice. You don't want to start gathering resources straight away using the pick, the hatchet, and a spear. Once you've gathered enough resources, you also want to be picking up berries and gathering meat from the animals you're farming hide from. Then you want to head down to this dude on the end of the pier and you want to get a ramshackle sloop. I recommend the ramshackle sloop because it's an awesome little ship. It doesn't take very long to farm, even on the normal settings in an official server. Um, it's cheap, it's cheerful, it gets a job done, you've got a lot of space. Not only can you get this on here, you can also get um, a crafting bench or anything else you need to put on here. You can wedge it on, you can get a water barrel if you've got one and stick on the front. You can do that stuff on the raft. But it's quite cramped. On here, you've got a proper ship, it steers better, the raft, you can only go which way the wind's blowing. With this, obviously, you can move your sails around and you can go whichever way you want. As soon as you've got gold, you can get a couple of hired seamen to sit on your boat and steer your sails. So all you do is steer it and they change all your sails for you. So yeah, definitely save up get the sloop it won't take you long that is the way forward that's my way of starting atlas no matter what server i'm playing on or what settings that is how i start the game once you've got this you can sail off into the great yonder and search out your own little island and set up an awesome little base and start building the big ships but this is an awesome starter ship and like I said, you can kit this right out of everything you'll ever need. And you've basically got a really efficient roaming base to start the game with. If you are interested in survival gaming, check out my other content. At the moment, I've got two videos going out every week on Ark Survival Evolved. Atlas will be coming back to the channel very soon. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss the uploads. And I hope this genuinely helps you guys. Enjoy Atlas. Ignore all the negativity surrounding this game, by the way. I absolutely love this game. It's one of my favourites. You can be a pirate and sail a ship and dig up buried treasure. What's not to love? Anyway, guys, enjoy Atlas and I'll see you around.